<clears throat> Hello YouTube. Hopefully my volume is working good. Gonna have to get a new camera. Womp womp womp. It's always something. <clears throat> That's for sure. So, what is today? Wait, what are we? Wednesday? Four day week throws me off. Forgive me. Um, happy Wednesday. I'm coming on today to tap into some energy, see what's going on. Um, I've had, like you guys have all known, a lot going on for me. And a lot of processing and a lot of learning who I am. And a lot of movement in my own world. And at the same time, some stagnation, which I'm not too thrilled about. But I guess not really, right? I guess everything is just in due time, the way it's meant to be apparently. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I've had um, a lot of heavy and a lot of positives all at the same time happening in my world. I'm trying to get new, used to this new job. Oh my gosh, all these new kiddos. I don't know, four days is nice and then three days off is nice, you guys, but man, <laughs> working hard for those four days, that's for sure. <clears throat> but I love it. I did miss the kiddos. That is definitely something that um, it's just natural to me. It really truly is something that's natural to me. Um, so it feels good to be back in it, and so that's what I've been doing as well, getting acclimated, building rapport with my new clients, or soon-to-be um, clients, and the environment in which I find myself working in, and the new energy and the environment in which I find myself living in. Um, and I just want to say I'm really thankful um, because I've never had an opportunity in my lifetime to end something on a positive note. I really haven't. People are usually just not kind about things. They just don't usually end well. That's been my experience. <clears throat> it's never been to where I've ended and somebody just, you know, like it, just kindness is a possibility or even friendship is a possibility. And I've actually been able to experience that lately. To have this happen with Sean, the one that was in my life, on the Twin Flame journey, and have it be on a positive note. Because it is. It's, I haven't been with him um, in almost two months now. Ever since the energy started shifting for me for the Twin Flame, I was unable to be with anybody but my Twin Flame, even though I'm not with him. And that's the truth, and that's okay. But it actually feels good. Like So I feel, I feel like I'm adjusting to this new reality um, of not being with my twin flame but being very much so in love with him um, and just having things shift in a positive note um, it was so very important to me especially the way things went down <clears throat> and I know that's probably hard and, and at times I'm sure he probably says things and means another but for now Everything is positive as far as that goes, and I'm very thankful. Um, I still don't have the outcome I hope to have. Um, but like I said, this love thing, this love flow, you guys, learning to love yourself is a whole new journey. It's a whole new ball game. It truly, truly is when you realize how much you weren't loving yourself. And am I still perfect? Absolutely not. But I can actually sit back and go, you know what? I am in love with somebody that I'm not with. And I have to let that be okay. Like, I have to let that sit in my system and marinate in my system. And for me, I am so loyal, you guys. And this was my confirmation for that. I'm so loyal that since I connected to my twin flame, I can't be with anybody else. And so I'm proud of that, too. And so there's a lot of movement <clears throat> within the self-love journey. For sure. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my body. I'm proud of everything that I've become. Proud of everything that I know. And I just hope and pray that the one who is supposed to be with me gets to be with me through that. <clears throat> you know, like we all do, right? That's all of our wish. So let's keep going forward in that movement and <coughs> trying to love yourselves. That's definitely a big part of the message. And forgive me for such an early message, but this is my only time to do so. Because um, I have got busy days. Um, and then 
I'm finding out they're wanting me with some of the big honchos clients. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I could do this. <laughs> I could do this. For the first time, you guys, I'm nervous. I'm not usually nervous at work. I usually have quite a bit of confidence in myself. I, I usually have quite a bit of confidence in myself with relationships, and this time I don't. This time I felt shattered. This time I feel at the mercy of um, heartache. And that's not easy. When you avoid heartache your whole life because that's what you're born into and you don't know love, then you find yourself smacked out of having to deal with it and accept it and sit in it. It's not easy, guys. But if you could do that, if you can manage to handle the things that are the realities, the truths, and sit with them wholeheartedly, there's true growth in that. <clears throat> there really is. Um, to be able to speak my truths, to be able to own my own truths. My truth is I have a twin flame that I ended up next door to. How awesome is that? And when I come into contact with him, my whole life changes and I love him dearly. And what a beautiful story that is, and I'm going to own that story. And that's part of what's happening right now within the collective, is owning what's really your story. And that's part of the message. What is really your story? <clears throat> you know, Sean would tell me, that doesn't seem like God, because, you know, it's just not, he's, my twin flame isn't with me, he hasn't necessarily been nice to me, and he gets in my head a little bit. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I still find beauty in it, and I still love my twin flame dearly. Now, isn't that amazing, you guys? That's the point. <coughs> and I feel like that's what we've been missing so much. It truly, truly is. The ability to love beyond everything else. Beyond all surface. Beyond everything sight that you can see. Beyond everything you can understand. Much like you love your children, right? It's the best example. That kind of love does exist. It absolutely does, and I didn't think it did until about a couple... Until about a year ago. Um, and then I'm realizing that love is bigger than me. And that love is beautiful, and love does exist. And someday I hope to take part in it. I hope to be worthy enough. And I am worthy enough. We all are. But, you know, I just hope to be immersed in that. How's that? <clears throat> and everybody should be doing the same. I feel like to focus on love truly, truly, truly is important right now. Self-love. Remember to let go of judgment, too. Right? Judgment is hard. I see we find ourselves judging ourselves. We find ourselves judging each other. Assumptions are hard, too. I literally physically can't be with anybody but my twin flame. I can't even hug Sean, you guys. Like, it's that intense. These things are real, and when I look at love and I learn about love through this connection, I'm learning a lot. I really am. <clears throat> it's been hard. It's been very hard, and I'm very sad, and it's it's harsh. Um, but man, am I learning to love in that environment, and that's crazy. It's craziness. But it's true. I love him, and, um, you know... To be able to transition out of something in a positive note and say that still in a positive feeling and not have what I want to necessarily have. Like, I feel like as a society, as a collective, we've kind of all been extremely immature. We've all been extremely shallow in a lot of ways, right? Maybe not in every way and maybe not all of us 100%, but I feel like we've all definitely had these moments and definitely had an inability to see what love truly is in an umpteenth degree. Does that make sense? Um, <clears throat> love is deep. It's layered. It's not, it's not something simple. It's not exactly tangible. It can move mountains. Believe me, I know because I feel like I did for my twin flame and I would do it again. Um, like I said, the love is something I have never experienced at all in this lifetime. At all, at all, at all, ever. Um, and it would be nice to have it <clears throat> be a complete love, right? Where it's mutual and it's just absolutely mind-blowingly, euphorically passionate <laughs> as long as, as well. Um, but the love is absolutely deep and true and cannot deviate, will not deviate. Um, 
and that's just the way it is. It won't waver, and so I'm confident in that I did something right. Um, and as much as it hurts my heart, you know, to see Sean in front of me and not, not be with this person anymore, I feel at peace um, in that everything I could possibly do in the right way, I did do in the right way. It is actually a beautiful thing. <coughs> what makes it a beautiful thing? All players being mature. <laughs> Because this was not, if you guys knew me in my history, like, guys would go crazy. I've got, I've had guys stalk me and find me and hurt me. Um, and so in reality, this is actually a big movement for me. Um, those that you don't know me, um, don't realize how much of a big deal this truly was, this, tr this twin flame thing, um, and learning how to love through it um, in such a way that I have it's huge. It's mind-blowing for me. It's huge, 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 huge in my book. It was bumpy as hell, and it still might be <clears throat> going forward. It's very hard for me to still not be with him. But I love every, like, I'm just so in love with everything and everyone, and that's really, truly where I am. It's like I expect myself to start crying or be bitter still, or anything like that. You know, and, and seeing Sean and seeing him struggle with letting go and me struggle with the transition and understanding, it's it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And that's the best way I can put that. It really truly isn't, you guys, and that's weird to say. But it's, it, the, the, the sadness and the energy that I moved is bad. Like, I don't like... The, want to go back through that <coughs> but as I've moved through that and remained connected to this person without being with him transitioned out of something using my words and my feelings and my truths instead of just running right guys instead of just ghosting somebody or instead of just being like I can't be with you or just anything of that nature I feel like we we use scapegoats a lot we get afraid to speak our truths and we do things that aren't necessarily <laughs> right right does that make sense like we just don't know how to end things by speaking our truths or 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 see that it can be a positive even though it feels like a negative and that's part of the message that is that is the whole epitome of the message um it's layered and it's deep but it's true it is very true and it's kind of what's coming out and i see it across the board i'm seeing how disconnected people truly are and how shallow people truly are and how assumptive people truly are even at my work people assume a lot um, and it's frustrating <clears throat> and very few and far between are people ever really willing to say you know what this is my truth right now this is what's going on inside of me right now and this is what I need to deal with right now so my truth is I had a kundalini awakening two years ago and I've been awakening since and healing and ascending the world and doing crazy things. And I'm very proud of my journey, very proud of who I am. And I have a beautiful twin flame journey that I don't think I would change for the world. And I love this person to death. And I'm going to continue to love this person to death, even if I'm not with him. And that's where I'm going to sit right now. And that's where I'm happy to sit right now and not be with anybody else. And what a beautiful thing, right? And the earth, the world, is transitioning through these energies. So again, I'm hearing like a massive influx. Okay, so that's been happening. We are definitely not of the same vibration on this earth that we once were. And so things are having to, sh to shift and navigate around that. <coughs> and that's just the same movements you've been seeing <coughs> all the way around. So let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see what other messages have to say other than love. This new perspective on love. Deepening your perspective on love day by day by day by day by day. And what it is and what it represents to you. Because I feel also, you guys, with love, it's also individual as well as collective. Like, would everybody want to say, you know what, I'm not with my twin flame, but I choose to be loyal to him? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but that let me know that I was loyal also in my heart of hearts, right? It's like, see, I'm not a cheater. I'm not anything like that. And I'm with this person and I still, the only thing that I can say is I don't really want to be with anybody else. Um, and that's the reality of it. 
here's my twin flame, right? Like that love really is real, you guys. I don't know how else to express that. When you find out that that love is real, what that feels like. <clears throat> love, true love does exist. It truly, truly does. And it's coming into, and this just fell out as I said that. It's coming into acceptance of what that love really is and how much we've lacked of it. And so that's still in the air. Very, very, very much so. <clears throat> and again, more perspectives are falling out. More awakenings are occurring. And this is what they're saying. Two. Three. And I'm also hearing somebody is, is, is struggling with trust and judgment. So they're stuck in like a self-judgment rut. Um, and these are false things. That's what they're saying. The other person does not believe these things. I don't know who that's for or what that means. Um, but these are self-defecating statements um, that are not in reality. These are not based in from that person that you think they're coming from. And so Spirit wanted you to hear that as well. Um, it's allowing yourself to move through things we're just unsure of. And that's what Spirit's asking you to do. Just allow yourself to do the movements. And they promise everything will line up perfectly, like beautifully. And remember, you can create your reality. So it's all about what you desire, what you hope for, and what you allow to come through. At every given moment, we are manifesting. Again, pay attention to the animals. And when I saw this card last time, you guys, you want, I'm going to tell you a story. <coughs> my twin flame is my neighbor, right? His dog, that day, that last day his dog ran up to me, I was like, Spirit, please tell me if I'm supposed to talk to him. Let something happen. Let him come outside right now. And within seconds, his dog came running up to me. He came out with his dog, and he came running up to me. Like, animals are very in tune. They're very, they're very much so in tune. And they will tell you what's right. They will let you know what's right. And so pay attention to that. Pay attention to your animals. They're beautiful creatures, and they are almost like your safe keepers. They get in, energetically entwined with you, and they kind of know where you're supposed to be. And that reminds me of my dream I had with my twin flame. He came barging in with a dog in <laughs> my dream. Um, see what I mean? I just only want to be in love there. Like, that's okay with me. Even if it means I'm alone. <laughs> All right. And then just be, be ready for more happiness. Because that's what coming into these higher frequencies is all about. Experiencing happiness. Experiencing more joy. How do we do that? We let go of what isn't for us, first of all. <clears throat> that is one way to experience more joy. Own your truths. That is absolutely another way to have happiness. All of these movements are bringing about more happiness for everybody. You have to forgive me, guys. I'm waking up and I work around um, a Petri dish of kids. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm getting sick. Ah! Um, but I'm just, I'm so, I, I do love parts of my job, so it feels good. Um... And so look at these cards, you guys. They're so positive. It's like, please be careful and mindful in creating your reality. I, I, I only want to create a scenario of love for my twin flame. No matter what that means. If I can't get him to see me and want to be with me, that's okay. I just want to create a scenario of love and trust and understanding and acceptance and strength and compassion. Um, like God had said as well and purity as well. Um, so like I said, ever since the twin flame journey came about in my energy, um, I wasn't feeling right and I had told Sean, like I pulled away immediately and I haven't been able to be with him since and that was prior to me even connecting with my twin flame. Um, and so knowing these things about myself, it makes me so proud. And, and hold on to moments like that, you guys. Find moments like that. Hold on to them and manifest from those. Okay, manifest from a place of pure happiness of yourself, okay, um, because it just, it brings it about quicker, it, it, it amplifies that vibration, and that's hard to do when I'm sad, right, and he's not, and, and you're not where you want to be, or you let those thoughts get into your head, and don't do it, and that's why you focus on the happiness, um, but again, your animals are essentially a spirit guide, and they will guide you where you need to be, they will show you what's right for you, they will show you what's supposed to be, and I can't get that day out of my head. I remember her walking up to me a couple times over now. This dog will come up to me when it's just right. 
and it makes him have to come up to me. It's so funny. It makes him have to, and I don't see her really do that to me. She's gone in another apartment, but it's not like this. Like, I love this dog. <laughs> and so I'm just thankful for those moments, you know. It's like, I try not to take it personally that all these things are trying to tell him otherwise, and he's not seeing it, but... When I see moments like that, it gives me hope and renewed um, faith that these things are very real. Love is very real. Joy is very real. Happiness is very real and very much so for you if you're willing to see beyond what seems painful at times. Okay? <clears throat> Alright? And so trust. And that's what I'm going to do. And so I don't know who watches these, um, but hopefully everybody does. Um, but... I can just say that I'm proud of myself, you know, and I thank Sean for being my friend um, and allowing this to end in a peaceful, peaceful manner. Um, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm just thankful for that, and I feel at this point we'll just take some time and just love ourselves for a little while, um, and I'm good with that. And I hope um, everybody else is kind of in the same boat in a reality with whatever it is. If you're needing to switch a career, if you're needing to start learning something new, come at it of a place of that joy, that happiness, that manifestation stance, um, and watch what happens for you, okay? Don't, don't come at something like, I need to end this, this is horrible and sad, come at it as, this can be a beautiful thing, and I remember telling Sean that too, I'm like, okay, fine, because he was telling me that my twin flame doesn't love me. He's like, he doesn't love, like, that's not love. That's pain. He's hurting you. I don't want to see you in pain. And I'm like, okay, fine. If I can sit in that much pain and still find love and joy, I asked him to do the same thing. <coughs> it's like, why dispute that? I can't really dispute that. I have nothing to dispute it with. Um, but if I can still come at it as a pla in a place of love and beauty and joy and understanding and purity, because I can't be anything but that. I can't be anything but loyal, and I'm very proud of myself for knowing that now. Um, there's just so much growth to be had, you guys. So where are you grabbing onto it? Where are you paying attention to it? Where are you allowing newness in, new insights, new perspectives, new ways of loving self? Forgive me for the meditations. It's been a moment, and you guys know I've been having to heal through this for sure. Um, but I am. That's what I'm doing, and I will continue to do so. <sighs> like, I don't like this card. Freedom. I'm like, I don't want freedom. I want my twin flame. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Um, in essence, this is just about um, independence, self-determination, right? It's like everything you desire and seek comes from the source of self and that's what this one is truly saying everything you desire and seek comes from the source of self whether it be the darkness that's surrounding you whether it be the struggles that are surrounding you or whether it be the beauty that surrounded that surrounds you everything is in what actions you put forth what energy you put forth what thoughts and processes you surround yourself with that's what freedom really represents and we are coming into a place in the life of pure freedom um, where you create your reality every given moment. There's no longer anything you have to um, fight through, right, to do that. Accept yourself. So be mindful to be in your sanctuary at all times. Be mindful to have that space to stay connected, to grounded. I have a hard time with that. Um, and that's what I'm trying to focus on now. It's like I'm not going to focus on anything else. Um, just me time, love me time, and I feel like that's what, that's what the main message is for the collective, um, is truly focusing on that self-love aspect. It is very big right now. <coughs> it is very important right now. Um, and I truly hope people hear that. I truly hope people understand that. You know, if I can come through this pain, if I can come through all these things and not say, oh my God, woe is me, he hates me, I hate life, and all that, like I've been in in the moments in time, and still be in a place of happiness and joy, it brings me such hope for the collective, for everybody, for what we can get through, for what we can accomplish, for what we can see, for what we can do, um, and for all of this energy just moving out with quick, quick, quick uh, movements. Um, and so let's just keep that movement forward, okay? Seriously. I, I look back and I realize how immature we've all been at times. 
and I feel like that energy is just falling away. There's no need for it anymore. So let's let's leave space for oldness, old things to fall away, newness to fall into place, and allow ourselves to be in our own reality, creating our own reality, listening to our spirit guides that guide us into what is best for us, that maybe what feels better for us, maybe something that has a key for us we're not even aware of, right? Like 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 I told Sean, if I look at my twin flame from the surface, yeah, you wouldn't think he was for me. But he absolutely is. When I look at it from feeling him, I love this man beyond what love I've ever known, you guys. And I can only hope that that trickles down to everybody. Um, <coughs> like I really, truly can. It's not that I'm wishy-washy on my twin flame journey. It hurts me that he doesn't want to be with me. I can't describe that pain going through this scenario, watching this all unfold. Um, and so that's very, very hard. Um, but even through that, I can be like, you know what, I still choose. Like, because Sean is like very much so hurt. He very much so loves me, wants to be with me, doesn't want it to end. And I can very much so choose to go backwards into that energy. But it's like, then I would have accomplished nothing. And I would have learned nothing. And this connection wouldn't be very real. Um, but that's not the case. <clears throat> These twin flame connections are very real. They're very much so true. Love is real. <coughs> and I'm somebody who struggled with that, um, even as the healer that I am. So allow that to just start to permeate within your environment. But true love is very much so real. And you can love beyond any pain that has ever been present in your existence, beyond any fear, beyond any doubt. Love will conquer all. Because if I got the chance to, to love him, that's all I want to do. It doesn't matter anything else, right? Like love conquers all. It truly, truly does. And I feel like we forgot that somewhere along the way. And if I've had to destroy my reality <laughs> to get this to come through with all this twin flame stuff, I would do it again. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. I really, really, truly would not. The only thing that I have to accept is that, you know, maybe I am alone. And I have to love myself through that. And give myself that love. And that the fact that he's not coming towards me doesn't mean that love doesn't exist on that end. So can you guys do that? Can you guys come from a place of, well, this guy keeps hurting me or this person destroyed me. Can I see that they love me? That's a challenge right there. Now that's a relationship challenge right there. If you want to do a relationship healing, put the person who's hurt you in front of you and, and, and allow this process to occur where they see you in love and light. Where you can see that they love you. See if you can do that. Right? That's how you start to heal a relationship energetically is allowing all the falsehoods to fall away and see that there is love beyond all of that. That's all about lessons. It's all about growth. It's all about earth crap, right? Not, not what's real. It's not stuff that you take with you when you go to the other side. What we take with us is love. Pure love. Love can also mean for me to tell Sean that, you know what? Excuse me. I love you, but you're not meant for me. And that's what I said to him last night. It's like, what if we're just not meant to be on the same path anymore? But I can still say I love you. And that's huge. Like, that is some growth right there. So I ask you guys, I challenge you. Look at your life and see where you're not doing that. And I challenge you to do so. Whether it be a relationship, whether it be with work, um, whatever the case may be. I challenge you to do so. I challenge you to look at it like that. I challenge you to say you know what, it's okay. No matter what this is, it's okay, and I'm going to love it. Genuinely love it, right? There's that word again, genuine. I'm going to give these things unconditional love, and I'm going to see them through that way. Can you do that? Um, you know, like these latest uh, murder case of that Gabby girl, it, she had a similar story to me. This was a domestic violence-related case, and he ended up killing her. <clears throat> I had a similar story. My ex actually planned my, my burial. 
um, he knew where I was going to be placed to rest before I'd even died, or like not in a positive way, right? Um, and 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 still, I'm looking at that scenario, and all I can do is feel love towards it. So instead of sorrow, all I can do is feel love towards it. And I'm feeling that shift. And so I'm asking any of you, you, do you feel that shift? Can you challenge yourself in such a way where you are putting love where something hurts you so badly? <clears throat> I challenge you to do so. Let's do this and let's see what changes come about. And I would love to hear about them in the comments if anybody still watches me or cares to hear what I have to say. <laughs> I hope. Um, so that's your message going forward for this Wednesday. Challenge yourself today. Challenge yourself to grow in relationships. 30-30 when I said that. Challenge yourself to grow in love and light and peace and harmony. And to allow yourself to grow into something. So if you've done something you're not proud of, allow yourself to change that scenario and rewrite it for yourself. It's like, I thought that I was like totally a bad person a year ago when he hurt me and I went and found somebody else. But in reality, I know how loyal I am now. Because energetically, I chose to disconnect from somebody I was with that was giving me love and connect to somebody that wasn't and love this other person unconditionally. Like, that's amazing. And still be completely loyal the whole way through. Like, I haven't been with anybody and I can't be with anybody. And that feels good. Like, that's weird, right? But I challenge you guys to do the same thing. No matter what it is. With career, yourself, your relationship, your, your partner. Where have you not been honest? Where can you grow in that love and light? All right, allow yourself to do that. Allow yourself to be in your truths and see what comes out for you because that's what's up right now. That's what that freedom is, okay? Um, so make it. Make your reality come true. I'm trying to. I, I so hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go get ready to go play with some kiddos, drink some coffee. I haven't even had coffee. What the hell? I did this message without coffee. Y'all better know I love you. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.